Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're going to be looking at how to import and export a Firestore database from scratch. Let's get started. When we're using the Firebase free trial, we cannot back up our Firestore database. In any case, if something goes wrong, we will lose all our website or the mobile apps complete data. So I searched for a solution for this. I got several solutions, but finally I found a solution that is very easy compared to other methods. So in this video, let's look at how to use this method from scratch. So this is very easy, but a bit tricky. So don't miss anything. Watch this video till the end. Let's begin. Hey, before we begin, if you are new to Okta Academy, please consider subscribing Okta Academy YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon. First thing first, we need a Firestore database which filled with some dummy data. For this, I will use my Angular to do apps Firestore database. If any of you are new to my channel, you can find this tutorial link in the description. Alright, now I have the Firestore database. Next, we have to create an API key to access this Firestore database. So let's create that. Go to the project settings on Firebase dashboard. Now go to the service account tab. Inside this bottom of the page, you can find this generate new private key button. Click on it. This will download your Firebase API key in a JSON file format. After this download, I will rename this file name to something simple to do API key. That's it. We have prepared the main needful for Firestore database export. Next, let's see how to export this. For this import export process, we're gonna use a npm package called node Firestore import export. This is the official npm page for this package. At the time I'm recording, this npm package got weekly more than 3000 downloads. This will definitely get popular more than this without any question. With this package, we can export, import our Firestore data with a single line of a simple command. Let's see how to do that. In order to work with this, we have to install this package on our computer globally. So open the command prompt or the terminal, run this command npm install dash g node dash firestore dash import dash export if you're on a mac don't forget to add sudo beginning of this command all right now hit the enter this will install this package on our computer globally so we can access this package anywhere from our computer all right node firestore import export npm package is ready now we can export the Firestore database using this package. So let's see how to do that. Close this command prompt and open a new command prompt and add this command to export the Firestore database. Firestore-export. We got this command with the installation of the import export npm package. So after this, in order to execute this command properly, we have to pass some credential to this command. First one is the Firebase API key. If you can remember, we already downloaded this. So we have to pass this as a flag command. So after this, add this command, add the flag, double dash, account credentials. This C must be capital. After this, we have to pass the path to this downloaded API keys JSON file. So right click and get the path, paste it inside the command prompt. At the end of the path, add the file name to do API key dot JSON. So please follow carefully these capital simple letters. After this, we have to pass the backup file flag. So again, double dash and backup file. This F must be capital. After this, pass the path where that you want to save this backup file. I'm going to save this backup file inside on the same path. So we don't need to give the full path to this. Just pass only the file name, which is data backup.json. In any case, if you want to save this inside of another path, so pass 
the path before this backup file name like this so that's it now hit enter to execute this command perfect we got this backup json file open it inside the vs code look at this this is cannot readable we got this json as the minified version that's why we cannot read this properly in any case if you need the readable version of this json backup file so we can get that by simply adding the pretty print flag to this same command so let's see that in action so again inside the terminal firestore dash export after this first flag is the account credential so this time rather typing this wall big flag we can use the short version of this flag dash a after this path typing this full path again and again we can get rid of this by navigate the command prompt to this download folder because my api key file is inside this download folder so remove this command and navigate to the download folder cd downloads and hit enter now again the command firestore dash export after this account credential flag use the short form dash a the api key file name is to do api key dot json this time we don't have to pass the whole path because now we are executing this command inside this download folder after this backup file flag for this also we can use the short version dash b next pass the backup file name file name is backup pretty dot json so this time we're gonna generate the readable json file so add this flag end of this command double dash pretty print for this also we have a short flag so remove this and add the short flag dash p that's it hit the enter to execute this command as you can see here this time we got this backup pretty dot json file so open this inside the vs code as you can see here this time we got this human readable file store database backup file in json data format perfect right all right next let's look at how to restore this backup to a firestore database so we'll do this on the same firestore database so first let's remove this old data from the database after that we will see how to restore the data we can remove all the data by using this firestore ui but we can simply clear this using the same firestore import export package let's see how to do that this is very simple just simply run this command inside the terminal or the command prompt firestore dash clear this time we're gonna clear the firestore database for that we use this firestore dash clear command after this account credential flag dash a and the api key file name to do api key dot json that's it hit the enter yes we want to proceed this process so give yes to this and again hit enter once this completed look at the database now we got this empty firestore data very simple right next let's see how to restore this database using the backup file for this we have the firestore dash import command if you can remember we use the firestore dash export command to backup the data and firestore dash clear command to clear the database likewise to restore the data we can use the firestore dash import command so after this command same as the previous pass the api key dash a to do api key dot json after this backup files path which is also inside the same folder so just pass the file name after this dash b flag backup.json if you can remember we backup two files compressed version and the pretty version we can use any of this backup file that's not a issue so after this hit the enter key to execute this command again give yes to this and hit enter 
Now back to the Firebase Firestore UI. As you can see here, we successfully restored the data inside the Firestore database. <laughs> Beautiful, isn't it? With just one simple line of command, we did the Firestore database backup and restore process very fast and very easily. This is the beauty of this Node Firestore import export package. Let's look at another scenario. Think if we want to restore this backup to another Firestore database, how do we going to do that? Very simple, just get the API key of that Firebase project and add that API key file as account credential path. Let's see this in action. Just simply create another Firebase project, create the new app. After this, just activate the Firestore database. Now go to the settings and go to the service account tab. Click on this generate new private key button. This will download the API key for this new Firebase project. So I'll rename this API key file to new to do API key dot JSON. Now inside the command prompt, simply run this command Firestore import dash a this time we're gonna restore the data to the new firebase project so the api key is this new to do api key dot json after this backup file dash p and file name is backup dot json that's it now hit the enter key to execute this command yes we want to execute this so give yes to this and again hit enter. That's it. This command successfully restored the data inside the Firestore database. Very simple, right? Now go to the browser and look inside new Firebase project. As you can see here, we got all the to-do data inside this new Firestore database. <laughs> Beautiful. Alright guys, this is how we can simply export import Firebase data using the Node Firestore import export npm package. If you find this video useful, give a thumbs up and share with your friends. And also if you have any question, please leave a comment. I will always there for you. And this is it for this video. If any of you new to Okta Academy, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. We'll meet you with another awesome tutorial like this. Until then, learn smart, not hard.